Hey, what's going on guys? Zip here. I don't mean to alarm you, but we are in the middle of a black hole right now. I am playing. Get a load of this thing. It's eating the earth! Look at all the damage it's doing. It's sucking in dirt blocks step at a time. Holy moly. Oh, and it just transformed. Oh, the light has been killed from our world too. Please, Black Hole, I got a showcase to do. I need to be able to see. And in addition to that, what the heck are all these items down here? Fire gems? Water gems? Diamond powder? Tell me about those hyper-compressed and regular compressed diamonds. We got a lot to cover in today's Black Hole B -b -b showcase. Yeah, it's good. I mean, really, look at it over there. Destroying my world. Come on, don't you have better things to do other than exist and, and be a black hole? No? Well, okay, that's fine. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add black holes to your Minecraft world that not only can hurt you, but help you in some very interesting ways as well. We're going to learn how to tame these beasts and use them to our advantage. This is a function pack created by McMax Stein. He is an amazing command block slash function writer that you can find out more information about in the description of this video. He's got his own channel where he posts content as well. So I encourage you to check that one out. And if you want to see more function packs showing off on the channel, let me know by smacking a like on this video. It means so much to have your support for the channel. Subscribe to see them right as they come out. And I told you, I need the light. This guy's killing my showcase. Much better. With that, we're going to jump into a quick word from our sponsor. Me! <laughs> Sorry. Today's function pack is brought to you by the Log.Zip t-shirts. Show your support for the Log.Zip fam by buying one of these right now. And you take a picture, you can link it to me at Log.Zip. I'll make sure to retweet it. Link in bio. Thanks. So, my friends, if you weren't aware, black holes require lots of mass in a tiny space. It's kind of how black holes work. It's a whole bunch of mess and they all compress down into one little thing. So, we we need to get some compressed diamonds. So we're going to start with some simple diamonds and a way to compress them, which is a piston and a lever and some blocks to make sure that things don't get messy. So we're going to make a nice little area to compress our diamonds down. Place a piston down sideways, upways, whatever ways, as long as you can compress one, two, three, four, five diamonds. As you can see right there, we're going to power it down and behold. Turned into a compressed diamond. Five diamonds in one. Get a load of this thing. Oh, yeah. I kind of want to keep it for myself. It's got pretty color. Look at it. But it's not enough. We need more. So what we need to do is make five total sets of compressed diamonds. So we need to compress these guys. Grand total of two, three. Come on. Compress already. I'm trying to work with me here. Three, four. And one, two, three, four. Five total times. Once you've got down your five compressed diamonds, we can move on to the next step, which is showing off right here in this book. Boom! And you also need uh, monster eggs. Hey, what are you trying to do to me, Mackestein? Sabotage? Yo, I like it. He's a dirty guy. Hey, easy does it, man. We need to compress these further down by crushing them with an anvil. So get a load of this. We need to place down underneath the ground a little bit of lava. Over that, we can go ahead and place another block. So we're basically trying to heat the ground that we're placing our five compressed diamonds on. Once the five compressed diamonds have been placed down, you're going to want to drop an anvil on top of all of them. As you can see right here, the moment that the anvil hits the diamonds, boom! And of course, once everything is good and ready to go for your anvil, you'll place it down and witness. Oh yeah! Nice and compressed. In fact, so compressed, it's hyper-compressed. The hyper-compressed diamond is what we're gonna need to trigger this black hole for appearing. Right over here, we've got our little area where we're gonna place our black hole, and you're gonna need the following things. Gold block, some TNT, your hyper-compressed diamond, and of course, a flint and steel. If we were to check out this book here, we would see that the super dense diamond has to be triggered to form a black hole. We're gonna place TNT on this gold block right in front of us. We're gonna place the hyper-compressed diamond on top of that and we all light this thing light it up and the moment this thing explodes instead of an explosion you'll be met with a black hole oh yeah in we go baby whoa hey 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 this is funny looking and we got an advancement out of it too and just like that the mobs have already been getting sucked towards the black hole however it is a tiny black hole it is not big enough yet to suck in mob entities however it can suck in other items so as you can see here if we we're to go into game mode zero and start throwing some of these items at the black hole they will begin to collect and make their way towards the black hole which will begin to consume them look at all those 
those gray smoke particles. It is eating up all the items around. Any items at all that you throw on the ground. Even little seeds. I'm trying to get some seeds. You see the seeds? You seed the seeds? <laughs> get it? Sorry. I'm the worst. Anyways, the moment the black hole has eaten a grand total of 100 different items, it will in fact evolve into its next level. A level 2 black hole. Oh yeah. There's levels to it, baby. You and I know. Anyways, I'm gonna just let it do its thing. And just like that. Oh, hey, it's already grabbed me. Hey, we gotta run. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's sucking me in. It's actually sucking me in right now. I'm not moving right now. I'm not the person doing this. Ooh, it is getting closer and closer. Yo, a little bit nervous. You get too close to the black hole, you will, in fact, die. Even in creative mode. You <laughs> So in order to avoid being sucked into this monstrosity that will surely destroy your world, give it enough time. Hey, look, it's actually like trying to grab me in this mode, too. Stay away, freaks. We're gonna need to get ourselves some heavy armor. Get a load of this. Oh, level one black hole. Well, I showed you about that. These were the items I was supposed to throw, and I forgot that there was already a chest here. Sorry, Magistan. I guess we'll just go ahead and keep the gold ingots. I'm rich. In order to prevent yourself from being sucked into the black hole, you're going to need to make yourself some extremely heavy diamond boots. Check it out. Combine a compressed diamond with diamond boots to craft super heavy diamond boots. <laughs> That's it. Just extra heavy diamond boots. That's it. Right. Well, they allow you to get close to the black hole without getting sucked in. And this level two black hole, as I said, will suck in more than just items. It will suck in mobs as well. Entities in general are now victim. Unless you got these great boots on. Get a load of these puppies. Super heavy diamond boots. Now we can walk all the way right up next to the black hole. And as you can see here, nothing bad is happening to us. However, I can't say the same about our dear mob friends. As they instantly get sucked in. Like they're trying to... Look at him. Stupid. He wants to reach me. He can't even reach me. Look at him. He wants... Hey, 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 buddies. Hey, nah. You see better days. Goodbye. All the mobs will instantly be getting... Look! The wolf! <laughs> the wolf is chasing after the skeleton. Oh, best day of my life. Yo, I'm gonna make him fight real quick. Let me just... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then one, a couple of these. Yeah, check it out. Going in on them as they all get sucked into the black hole. And the level two black hole works in a very similar way to the level one black hole in that the moment it sucks in a grand total of 100 entities or items. Now, before it was just items, now it's entities or items. It will turn into a level three black hole. So don't mind me while all the poor parrots. Hey, boys, it's for a good cause, okay? I appreciate your sacrifice. We'll see you on the other side. Curious, what happens on the other side of a black hole? Man, I there's probably some videos. Oh, you can get the children in there, the poor, poor baby villagers. Oh man, what am I a freak? What have I done? Bad times indeed. Just like that, level three black hole, and things are starting to go crazy. The blocks are actually getting sucked into the black hole itself. Luis, whoa, hey, those guys are hanging out. I have fallen. The black hole's mass is literally now so big that it has begun to erode the landscape around the black hole itself and will continue to do so infinitely until it is sucked in an additional 100 objects. So we have to act quick. I got a book to read <laughs> before we get to the level four black hole. Well, here's the level three black hole. Is items mods block. I already talked about that. We're gonna throw the book into for good measure. Yeah. It's for the best and now we've got level four black hole coming in which you'll see very shortly a level four black hole will suck in all things around it and light as well so every time you get too close to this thing you won't be able to see anything at all and that's where things start to get a little bit dicey so i'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that this thing gets enough eaten yo we gonna feed you good black hole until you can see what it looks like in its level four form we're the skeletons we appreciate your sacrifice <laughs> Jeez, boom and just like that all light around us has been completely encaptured within this nasty dirty black hole Seriously, yo, this is creepy looking. Can we get all inside here? Nice. Yo, love it. Oh, we can see the, the, the grass blocks. Get, <laughs> this is beautiful. That is nice. Okay, so what does it all mean? I guess the sun's too far away. He's not falling victim just yet. But all light around is getting sucked in as well. So now it's our job to try and find this obstacle. Yes, there we go. That's beautiful. Okay, we're back on the path. Now I'm going to show you how to get rid of this black hole because obviously it's not doing you necessarily to any favors right so in order to break a black hole and to make things go back to normal you actually need to summon in another one using all the various means you've seen before gold block tnt flint and steel hyper compressed diamond and then feed it because the moment you run into a level three black hole near your level four black hole they will cancel each other out and just like that 
We have now gotten rid of that original black hole that was hanging out right here and summoned in a level 3 one instead. So, we've bought ourselves some time. Two black holes will cancel each other out if you decide to build one. However, that is not where this adventure ends, my friends. Those were wild black holes. Now, what if I told you? Oh, we missed the sign. <laughs> that you can control them. Oh yeah. And not only can you control them, we can use them to our advantage as well. So we're gonna buy ourselves some time by getting even further from the black hole. Oh, it looks like it just evolved once more all the way over there doing its thing. Good thing we're far away, otherwise this may have been a different story, my friends. In order to tame ourselves a black hole, we're gonna need to make ourselves a black hole shield. Get a load of this. We need a hyper compressed diamond, our flint and steel, and our TNT as per the usual, as well as some cobblestone walls to act as a barrier. To control black hole, you have to build a special barrier around it. Spawn in a black hole and the gold, blah, 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 blah. And then you put the walls just like this. We're gonna save ourselves some time. We don't need to use this guy necessarily. Oh, oh, I broke. Oops, yeah, I was trying to grab that thing. Anyways, not a big deal. We're gonna place him right underneath, as you can see right here. It begins. The TNT, the hyper compressed, like that thing! And get a load of your brand new tamed, contained barrier black hole, complete with spiders already trying to float in. Come on, man, I'm trying to do a showcase here. But the barrier isn't enough. We need more. We need diamond powder. So how do you get diamond powder? We'll take your compressed diamonds from before by compressing regular diamonds down and drop them onto each other from a height of 10 blocks or more in order to pulverize them. So we're gonna drop our first guy down right here. One drop, we're gonna go up about 10 blocks, probably good. Drop it on the ground and check out what happens. Ooh, uh, messed up the camera. Where'd it go? Uh, oh no, it's already being sucked in, yeah, it's bad news. We're gonna do it a little bit further instead. Drop your compressed diamond right down, that is good. Right, and then check it out, check it out, check it out. Boom, got him, diamond powder. It's perfect, exactly what we need. We need to place diamond powder all over the barriers in order for this baby to work properly. You get three diamond powders out of two compressed diamonds, which means it takes 10 diamonds to get three powders. And we're gonna need a total of 16. So it takes a whole lot of diamond in order to contain a black hole. Although, what would you guys expect? It kinda, I mean, that kinda makes sense, really. Slowly drop all the powder on top of the fences until it is completely contained in the fashion that you see here. Man, everything just wants to get in this black hole. You can't be fed it yet. We need to drop items in. For whatever reason, though, if you wanted to get rid of the glow on any of these compressed diamond fences, just drop a regular diamond on top of it as well, and it will get rid of that special glowing enchantment. However, we want it. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to continue to feed this stupid black hole a whole bunch of items so that I can turn into the next step. As you can see, the smoke is coming in, so we'll be back in one second. There we go. Just like that. Level two compressed sheep black Oh, come on. Sheep, you're making it look so silly. Can I, 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 I push these guys down so that they, work with me, animals. Maybe we'll just get the pork chops to go inside instead. Yeah, see, look, the pork chops were nice. Now, in terms of black hole containment, we've reached maximum level. We can now start utilizing this in ways that help us in our Minecraft world. Get a load of this. It's time for the protective black hole. We need one super enchanted golden apple in order to make this one work. Drop it into the black hole itself and notice as you instantly receive not only double health, but amazing regenerative properties as well. We're gonna drop onto the ground right here and look, instantly healed once again. You could do, you could suffer some serious drops. In fact, I'll tell you what now, we're gonna go super far down. Is that spider being sucked? He's being sucked in! Oh wow, through the ground into the black hole. Best day of my life, especially because I didn't take hardly any damage doing that. What if we TP ourselves? 40 blocks up. We hardly have any armor where well, we live. Oh wow, hey, that was a close one. But check it out. We got some serious instant health as well as regen coming through as well. We might need to be a little bit closer for the regen to start seriously taking effect, but look at this. Look at that. Look at the great healing. Regen 4 constantly going off. Best day of my life is stupid creepy. Oh, don't blow up, no! Ooh, that was close. Once more for good measure. Yeah! Coming in with real hot. Huh? That's good, and that's only one of the ways that you can use the black hole. Allow me to show you another one. Fire black hole? Oh yeah, I ain't messing around. You're gonna need a blaze rod and a lava bucket in order to get this one popping off. Drop them on the ground together just like that to grab yourself a fire gem. Now, what can you do with a fire black hole? Oh, it's fire. It's lit, baby. All you need to do to get this fire gem to work is throw it in the black hole and just like that, all these flame particles start emerging from all over the place around you. 
Mmm, I like that. That's good. So what does it do, huh? Well, any mobs caught in the nearby vicinity will instantly catch fire. Look at all the little porkers. Yo, they never stood a chance. In fact, they're, they're dropping their meat in the sky. Oh, no, hey, I wanted those. I gotta heal, man. Don't take all the pork chops. And it's a pretty far vicinity, too, that these mobs will continue to catch fire. Like, we are pretty dang far from this black hole. In fact, I'm wondering where the cutoff point is. Look how far away we are. And they are still burning up. Yo, this black hole has some serious power to it. Very powerful. Very rare. Wow, it goes forever. In fact, here appears to be around the cutoff point. Wow, that has serious reach. In fact, I think if we push one of these pigs a little bit. Get over here. Well, I'm over it. I don't think you guys are ready for this one. The magical black hole. Oh, yeah. This one takes a stack. A stack of nether stars. You need to kill 64 wither bosses in order to add a magical black hole to your Minecraft world. Well, even the even the Enderman's having trouble with it. Nice. Drop a stack of nether stars in the black hole to transform the landscape into a wonderland. All the minerals will transform from ore to block, amongst other visual decorations. We're gonna go into game mode one so I can fly around and show you what y'all about to see. We've dropped in the stack. Now witness as the land around us slow transforms into the wonderland we were just talking about this where you pay attention come on get it together look how far this thing reaches all grass and dirt will turn into terracotta aka clay all seeds will be really sad because you can't plant themselves into terracotta leaves will turn into glazed terracotta because it's real fancy looking nice wonderland if you're wondering about stone it has all become quartz all around us. Easy quartz, baby. All you need to do is summon a black hole that will surely begin to destroy your world given enough time. And that ain't even the half of it. We're gonna dip down into the cave systems and you're gonna see things get even better. Like check out this ravine. Look at this. You think there's iron ores? Wrong. There's iron blocks. All ores have been turned into block version, whether it's iron, whether it's coal, I'm wondering if we can find some gold, whether it's gold. Now you see there is a cutoff point here as well, so we do need to keep in mind not every single block will be transformed. And not only that, once the transformation has already taken place in the certain area, it will not retransform any other ore, so it's kind of a one-time thing. If you're gonna summon in a black hole in one of your ravines, then make sure you do it in an area that you know has a whole bunch of ores. Now I'm curious, does it work with does it work with all of them? Like, can we find some, like, redstone? Yep, look, they turned the redstone block. That's beautiful. Now, what about diamond? I want to find some diamond. Lapis? Like, what are, what are our options here? Well, there's lapis. That's a relief, but seriously, what about the diamonds? I'm going to solve this one real quick. Get a load of this pickaxe I just gave myself. Fastest mining in the land. So we're going to try and find ourselves some diamonds. With any luck, we'll come across some real soon. And then we can find out if we can truly get ourselves some diamonds. Here they are. Perfect timing. Look at the stupid efficiency bar. This big axe almost broke. I mean, we get seven diamond blocks. Not bad. Yo, but you should see how much work we had to put in just to try and find him. Cutting through countless redstone, coal, iron, everything in between. But we got what we wanted, baby. Then a whole bunch of extra quartz, too. So we've done protective, fire, magical, and now the final type of black hole. The water black hole. What are you talking about, Tyler? Hey, get it? Because it's right. Well, shut up. Uh, lapis lazuli, water bucket on the ground combined will grab yourself a nice little fancy water gem. So what can you do with the water gem, huh? Well, it works in a similar fashion. You're going to throw it right into the mouth of this sucker over here, and you're going to start to see some interesting changes indeed. Back into game mode one we go. As we drop this in, you will begin to see water form all around you. The landscape slowly begins to have water flooding the entire world. Look at this, completely engulfing it in lots of fun streams. I mean, summer's kind of ended, but everybody likes playing in water, right? Look at me floating. I'm so adorable. Water will continue to be added to your Minecraft world all around the area that your black hole is existing in until it is an un recognizable area. I mean, it's practically an ocean. Can't you tell? It's like... I mean, I'm pretty sure I see some guardians hanging out in here. That's nice. Well, <laughs> if you're wondering what you can do to get rid of your tamed black hole, in addition to how the wild ones work, if you want to summon in an additional black hole, it will get rid of the tamed one too. Get rid of the effects, you have to remove the shield and grow two level four black holes once again. And they lived 
happily ever after. And by living happily ever after, what I really mean is they completely destroyed themselves and ripped themselves to shreds due to the forces that be involving gravity. We're gonna go check out our other black hole friend and see what nonsense he's up to. I said nonsense, just don't judge me, okay? Y'all been having fun with the landscape over here? Yeah, looks like he got a little bit full, taking a break. I dig it, man. My friends, that has been dangerous black holes, as well as tame black holes, in Minecraft 1.12 using an amazing function pack by the man himself, Max Stein. If you want to find out more information, everything's going to be in the description of this video that will show you what you need in order to grab yourself this black hole, including a link back to Max Stein's channel where he produces other content as well. Let me know if you want to see this released as a download by drop a like on this video. Of course, you can subscribe to see more awesome function packs and other natural disasters as we make them right as they come out. We post every single day, so I encourage you to check it out and be around. I hope you all have a great day. Let me know in the comments what function pack you want to see us make next, and we might just do it. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow.